Hey everyone, Bebopper Tony Savalas here. Better not see YouTube vans as soon. Sorry, I had to pause it because I had to take my headphones out. To me, uh, on a beautiful day at uh, Conference House Park. I was originally going to go to uh, Wolf's Pond Park first, but I missed my fucking stop on the bus. So I was like, damn it. And today was my last chance to do so because I'm working the next three days. Tomorrow we, f we finally open. Tomorrow's the grand opening of the new store. So I'm working late tomorrow. Long day tomorrow. Long day Friday and Saturday. So my next chance to go to parks is Sunday, at least. I gave myself a little bit of a, of a, of a lockdown. That's why you've been seeing a lot of clips of movies in my story because I don't have time to go to the gym which I'll get to in a sec a park or the mall to see Mark come home shave roll my trains around which I'm taking a break from taking a, uh, doing lips lip syncing and and then finally put on a movie I have no time to do all that so I, I cut down a little bit. I gave myself a little bit of a lockdown because I had so many movies to watch and so many... Let me get that kid's ball. Yeah. You're welcome, kid. I didn't have time to do all that, so I gave myself a little lockdown, played some, uh, watched some movies, mostly horror films. And I, I, um, well, I'm done with Trains for All because I did TATMR in a nutshell. Um, I'm not going to lip sync for a couple more nights. But yeah, I had a lot, I had a long day. By the way, I'm sorry if I keep pausing and just got nervous for a second. Looks like the sanitation department is cleaning up. There's a couple guys in the sea cleaning up. That's good. You know, it keeps the environment clean, go green. I don't know if they're volunteering. I think so. That's nice, though. They're, you know, cleaning up the beach, get, getting rid of all junk, all pollution. Now I'm actually glad that I came early because I had a chance to see this, this happen. I had a chance to get all this action. And, yes, I'm wearing sunglasses and a hat because I don't want to get sunburned. But before I even got on the bus and missed my stop, I was with Ron before. I was at a, I went to a food pantry with him, an impromptu food pantry on Cedar Grove. That was cool. I met some people. I saw Big Jimmy Connors. I haven't seen him since Thanksgiving. <clears throat> that, that's cool, though. It looks as if they found a fish or something or a horseshoe crab. You can't see, but... You can't see it, but look. There's some kind of tank in front of them bucket I'm never really in this spot though I'm usually down there I wouldn't mind volunteering but I'd like to get paid too if I was if I was you know working for the Department of Sanitation you know, last year was a sanitation test. They do it every five years. I missed my chance in 2015. A lot of kids on the pavilion say, well, it's nice out today. It's Even though it's the end of April, tomorrow's the grand opening of the new store. It's, ju it's just because May is coming up. And you're probably wondering why. You might ask, why am I wearing a leather coat? And even a hoodie on my waist. Well, that's my, that's my makeshift kilt. Cause I don't have kilts anymore. I'm just... It's part of my goth gift. It's part of my goth look. And by the way, no more choker. It got annoying taking it off while shave, having to shave, taking it off. Plus they stretch it up. Even though there's, I could, even though I always do the hot water trick, it's still uh, a pain in the neck doing so. And by the way, hats off to the brewers yesterday. They won, along with the Rangers and the Bucks. Only Washington didn't play because football season is over. Football's like the only season that doesn't, that never plays the same time as other sports. 
uh, I don't know, maybe it's just hockey, f- baseball, and basketball season just dragged this time. Well, baseball season is on until the autumn. Basketball, I don't know when, I think basketball ends around summertime. Hockey usually ends around this time. It's beautiful, though, for the end of April. It's really sunny. That's why I can't really see. My phone's probably full now. I'm going to unplug it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what that's what I did today. I went to a food pantry. My mother even suggested that I go out for a little while because even though I've got, I got a lot of movies done, even so... It's my last chance to go out because you never know. Sunday, my next day off, if I'm not working, if I'm not scheduled, might be crappy out. I mean, I hate spring fever. I mean, uh, I hate cabin fever, but I had so many movies to get done. I have so many. I had so many Hammer films to watch. So many other horror films. I've got three super late horror films that I got to get done. I got to get April Fool's Day, the original and the remake done, which was supposed to get done the beginning of the month, but didn't because I was, you know, so busy overextending myself with all stuff to do, like all, trying to combine all my hobbies, like, you know, mood music, trains, video games. I was actually going to go live last night by uh, flipping a coin with Brendan over who should be in my Royal, my, fa- my made-up 20-man Royal Rumble match between Donald Duck and Kofi because everybody on the Greek roster... And it's, it's, there's 21 men, so there's only 20 men in the match. So one would, I mean, I'm not missing the match. So I, I flipped a coin and Goofy won. But then I did a second one where somebody, I, I think, uh, I think I, I think the, the second one I did last night, which I also lost, it kicks, I, I removed Samoa Joe from the match. He's probably in AEW or TNA, wrecking havoc. You know, good for him, but. What was I? What was I saying? Where was I? Uh, yeah, so I missed my stop on the bus. So I'm here now, and then I'm gonna go to you know, Target, I guess. I ordered the push along Napford Station, which was a big, big task. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't that it was big. It was just I, I'm. You know, it's very risky ordering big stuff now because the mail lady downstairs the other day said to me. Even though there's no permanent mailman, they're technically not allowed to come up to the apartments. But that's not fair, because the mailman, the mail, the mailboxes are so tiny. They just, they just ring the bell and expect people to come downstairs. What if my, what if me and my mother are at work? Who's gonna get it? Because I'll get it. Otherwise, I'll get a misslip, two misslips, and then, it's, and then it sits in the post over for 15 days. What happens after 15 days? She said, "Well, you could leave a note. You could write a note to them. Yeah, but half of them don't even speak English. Half of them don't even speak English, so they're not gonna get it." Because another thing that's coming that's also not too big, that's also too big is this guy's trying to strike a deal with me on eBay. Okay, a few people remember back those of you who I was friends with back in 2017, right after Skull Island. I went to Hypnotronic Comics, which is by the ferry, which is an awesome comic book store that has awesome hot horror figures and comic books and whatnot superhero shit they had a mezco 2005 rare 15 inch deluxe king kong figure and i sh- almost shit my pants when i saw it the problem was the price it was 80 bucks but it came with it came with a free set of shot glasses one of them actually broke but i i, I taped it back on so luckily my ex-friend at the time helped paid for almost half of it i paid 30 he paid 50 which was really nice of him the only problem was the arm came off after playing with him so much. I, I glued it back on. The arm still came off, and I just said, screw it. I'll find another one. And for <laughs> four years, I couldn't find another one for a good price until two popped up on eBay. One of them one of them came with two with his mouth closed, which is the Kong I won. And then there's one that, that's, that's coming alone with his mouth wide open, like, oh, like he's roaring. The prices on them are expensive, really expensive. I'm not going to give out prices, but bottom line, the Kong that I didn't want, the single Kong with the mouth, is even more than the Kongs that I'm, that I'm getting with the mouths closed. Now, you might ask, why two? Well, I asked the seller, can I just have one? Because, you know, that's why it's really expensive. He said, well, I got to pay the rent and stuff. And then he was like, listen, I'll, I'll take $26 off. Is that good? It was still kind of expensive. So I said to him, all right, listen, I'll tell you what. 
because I was going to pass on it because Hypnotronic Comics tried offering me other King Kongs, which I didn't, which I turned down. I didn't want because I, I originally went to them first, see if they had any more in stock. I mean, I fucking regret not being into uh, the Peter Jackson King Kong back in 2005. I really regret it. Also brave too in 2012. I just I get into hobbies like years later. It's just strange. But anyhow, he made a deal with me. I said to him, I get paid Friday. Can you hold the item until Friday? Yes. But I said to him, we'll see how much I make. Because if I, my paycheck is enough, and I, and I can't touch my savings again, because I already made five withdrawals. If, you make, if I make one more withdrawal, because I signed a contract where if I do more than six withdrawals in a monthly statement period, I get charged. And I already made five this month, because money was really crazy this month. I can't ask my mother for money, because she's got to do the rent. I'm going to help her next month with the rent. So I was screwed, and, and I didn't have enough in my checking, so... I gotta be very fucking careful with the money I make this week. I mean, I work 23 hours, so that should be enough for the Kongs. The only other problem is that they're in damaged boxes. But as, as long as the as long as the Kongs aren't fucked up, I'd be happy to. Even so, I I, I contacted Hypnotronic Comics and asked them if they could let me know if they ever see. Uh, this is when I turned down the the other Kongs. I asked if I could if they could let me know if they have. Uh, if they ever come across the deluxe 15 inch Kong and they said, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll remember, but I'll post it. Well, I have, I follow them, so I'll see it. But as it stands, I'm going to get the two Kongs. And what the only good thing about getting two of both of them, because I wanted just one, is if one arm breaks. Well, what I'm going to do is to prevent that, I'll keep one open and one in the box, and the one open will just be posed, and that was it. I mean, I'll move them around a little bit, but I'm going to be very, very careful with his arms because I don't want to fuck them up. I mean, it just blows my mind why I wasn't into Kong back in 2005. I mean, I just turned 10 when the movie came out. But then again, I, I wouldn't have been able to sit through a three-hour movie. I wasn't even into Donkey Kong yet. I mean, at the time, in the 2000s, the only Mario characters I liked was Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi. I didn't even like Bowser. You know, I know it's windy. That's just, you know, crazy, though. So the Napford station's not going to fit in the mailbox, and definitely not the two Kongs. I did order two other things. One of them is a surprise, and the other one is uh, me being a copycat, which I will also not tell. You'll see in my model railroad update, you'll see two things in my model railroad update that are coming, and the other two are uh, Kong-related. Horror-related, actually. Yeah, it looks like there's some horseshoe crabs in that bucket. In that bucket over there. Or tank, whatever. Probably horseshoe crabs because they're the personification symbol of New York beaches. Horseshoe crabs because they're so easy to find. Or maybe the jellyfish, who knows? I don't know. I mean, I'd go down there and ask, but I'm not getting these kicks dirty. I'm not getting these dirty. Looks like uh, somebody spray painted over here recently. junk in the ocean but the, the sanitation team's taking care of that the sanitation team's taking care of that I also got a water from the food pantry which wasn't available at the food pantry it was uh, it was um, from a random customer I was like whose truck is this because I saw bottles of water they were warm but I took them anyways I'm like oh thank you One thing, one different, one thing I'm gonna do different about this uh, this summer is not not um, I'm not gonna be exposed to my skin that much. Obviously, my head because I'm not getting sunburn. I don't want it to burn and sting. I don't want I don't want it to peel when I have to shave it because I do it every other day. Sunglasses, obviously, I need for the sun. 
Otherwise, I'll be squinting the whole time. Be squinting the whole time. Um, I'm still gonna be. I'm still gonna wear the spandex, but I'll roll them up if it's hot. I mean, I'll go shirtless here and there, but not all day long. And I'm probably gonna just wear pants. I'm not, I mean, I threw all my kilts away because there were no pockets. I tried. I don't know. I tried to get into them, but I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't care what my family thinks. My mother, and my parents kept. I mean, I wasn't talking to my father at the time, but they kept calling it a skirt. But that's beside the point. You know, putting everything in the spawn was all cluttered. You know, my AirPods, my keys, my phone and charger, my air, my paper towels to wipe my nose and ass. It was just too much, you know. So I said, screw it, I'm not gonna wear them anymore. I'll just stick with pants. And shorts I'm not gonna wear because, you know, nobody wants to see my socks, my sexy socks. Uh, we'll see, maybe I'll get one pair. But not basketball, I want like higher, high like 70s kind of shorts, you know. All right, guys, so this is a little bit long enough. I'm gonna do a second part. It's gonna be on YouTube as well. Trying not to show the kids because I don't wanna get in trouble. So, I don't want parents yelling at me saying, why are you taking a picture of my kid? And I'd be like, fuck you. So, all right, guys, see you soon in part two. And I'm really sorry I couldn't go to uh, Wolf's Pond today. I missed my stop. But there's always Sunday. Or I can go to Great Kills, who knows? I mean, Great Kills is the opposite direction, so it's. And that's a big beach, so it's park, so it's not gonna be very easy to get stuff done. But anyhow, uh. Yeah, alright. Game on. Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> I, d I pulled the Denny Doherty Theodore Tugboat. Once again, I'm here in Target. This um, is, I ah, screw it, it'll be part two of this video, but it's also Model Railroad Update 15. Second time I'm in Target, second time I don't do it home. And I bought something else, last minute. Even though, like you've heard in the first part, I'm trying to save up for the Kongs. I got, um, these i got this animal park pack of track masters it came with a, a it came with a panda thomas giraffe annie and carabel by the way annie and carabel now have the same face like annie doesn't have the old face anymore i don't know why i set the camera this way yeah i just have to sit down see they both have the same the top has the antlers of the giraffes and nice spots. I originally wasn't going to pay by anything, but I don't know. Uh, came with Birdie. He has two koalas on him. Well, four, actually. I didn't realize how fat he was. He's really wide. He actually rolls pretty good. I was afraid his tires were going to, like, you know, not move very well. Thomas has bamboo on his cab roof. Percy is a monkey, which is strange because the Trackmaster counterparts, Thomas is the monkey, Percy is the panda. It's, and it's even more fucked up now that I still don't want the Trackmaster panda Percy, but I get this. this. <laughs> I'm such an asshole to Percy. It also came with Harold with wings, like a bird. A giraffe car, which is really heavy. Comes with a giraffe. He doesn't come with like a peg to like place him he just like rides around and he's kind of heavy merlin my first ever merlin he's looking like an easter bunny he's got whiskers and big teeth and he's got fur on him and carrots on his tender and if he can't see his number on his cab 783 it's also on the carrot tag 
Uh, this is a Shima, I think. My first Ashima with peacock feathers. I only got them. I only got this set for the you know the classic characters and Flynn, who's looking like an elephant. He's got elephant ears and even a elephant cap on the back. Well, two that is one on this side. On the one thing disappointing is that his ladder doesn't even doesn't go all around. It doesn't even go up all the way. But yeah. But stay tuned for part three because I have another idea that I'm thinking of doing. But I but I gotta gotta yeah, but I gotta be careful because you know if I'm gonna have enough to buy those Kongs. I gotta be careful with my money. I'm gonna go to the other target and see if I could get some more push alongs. Alright, see you there. Hey everyone. Bebop with Tony Savolas here. Better known to YouTube fans as Superb Owl. <clears throat> this is uh, part three. I didn't end up going to Target like I wanted to because much like before, I missed when I missed my stop on the bus. This time, the bus, there's two buses when you, when you leave Target. There's one that goes by the mall, which is the one I, w I was going to take to Target. And then there's the one that passes my house. The one passing my house came first, so I took that bus. So I was like, screw it. Bear with me. I'm falling asleep. I've been out old. I've been up since nine o'clock. <clears throat> but uh, this is part two of... Uh, the model railroad update. I normally don't like to uh, con in, I normally don't like to combine hobbies like traveling with you know hobbies. Sooner or later, I'm just gonna upload like so many things into one, like like you know TikTok and and uh, glitches are already one. Pets are becoming you know part of that. Just a matter of time before I add trains and travel to it. But anyhow, here's here's some updates. Here's some things I got. Here we go. After, the, I think the last time I went to the gym, I went to um, the same place I got the Melissa and Doug figure eight set with the bridge and uh, Anthony and his tender, the figure eight set. While I was there, I saw um, this circle set with uh, two farm animals, two cars, and a locomotive. So I picked it up uh, short, not recently. <laughs> it's my neighbor upstairs playing Xbox. I didn't end up keeping the locomotive. It was just a generic bull locomotive. I could have used him as Lady when I was doing the TATMR in a nutshell video. But yeah, the animals come out. They're pretty cool. They, you could also put them together like the circus train. The couplings aren't very strong. So that's why I have them in the back. So that way there's no weight, you know, when going up the hill. They just got the caboose behind them. Speaking of, here's the haunted caboose. It was almost in mint condition. I didn't really need to, you know, remove uh, cover up any paint chips. One thing I noticed though about the haunted caboose over the, the Soda mainline caboose is that if you look closely, like look, it's got the the thing to the peg to keep it all together. Here it doesn't have it. The haunted one doesn't have it in. The winter one has two of them. You know, a couple of them have the, the those magnetic pegs. Yeah, so yeah, the winter, uh, the haunted one, it's probably my favorite. You know, I like orange, I like Halloween. It's got some eyes, it's got some spiders, a cat. This originally came with the Thomas Halloween DVD, which I used to have. You know me, when it comes to horror, I got a I gotta um, get it because I like to mix hobbies. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I ever showed the, the updated Spider Mountain Railway. If I didn't, here it is. Um, I had to raise the spider so that way I could raise the bridge so I had space to raise it. Unfortunately, though, because it was so wide, I wasn't able to complete make a whole circle. So it's just one big loop. And it goes all the way down here to the skull, and then you fall in a hor you die a horrible death. But then it, but uh, but the bridge goes around. You're stopped by the branches, and I, the the switches the switches that came with it are here. 
Boko is just chilling under the bridge. Skiff is there. The Donkey Kong is there that I bought at the same time. Still debating whether or not I still want those freight cars. There's the buffers. Hey, Donkey Kong's up top. John and George are there because they're dead. It's supposed to be like a zombie version. And there's the alien version of Merida. I took apart the Strasbourg Railroad and put it in a box over there. <clears throat> Thomas and Percy are in there, are in the draw. Terrence, you know, has now been uh, promoted to work on the wooden railway. Merritt is just chilling in the background, the controller of the Strasbourg Railway. I mean, it's good that I stopped three railways because <laughs> for the most part, it just became wooden. So now I made, you know, so now I made like the docks over there. You know, there's a ferry, a whale, a shark. Um, that pier came with the that the figure eight set. Tookie is chilling out on it, and Bolstro's next to him. It actually does look, it actually does look like a docks now, which is really nice. But anyways, back to updates. Um, I mentioned that I was getting two Tobys. The reason I got both the prototype Toby from 1992 and the wood is because I wasn't sure if I was, just in case I didn't like either of them, so I said, screw it, I'll get both. The wood one was actually more expensive, actually. This is my second prototype. It's from 1992. He's got stickers, you know, decals. The face is, you know, fixed. It can't move. So, yeah, they're not painted. The bottom, there's nothing on the back. The magnets are flat. The bottom has flat wheels. And staples on the bottom but he, he's pretty strong though the magnets i don't really count the, the prototype models as official releases but hey they, they got released but to me it officially began in 93 when the real ones came out the funnels the wooden funnels um now here's the wood toby it's kind of like a, a sandwich toby like you know the beginning toby and the most recent toby i mean before i get to that the reason I didn't I didn't bother bother getting the old style Toby is because even though it's a classic, it's not it was nothing special to me growing up because I don't really know how to explain this. I don't know if I mentioned it in another video, but look how curved Toby is. It's hardly like any any his roof is like barely slanting off. And if you look at like uh hmm you look like the winter caboose, like you see how like it's got like I mean, granted it's gotta have them because of the icicles, but I don't know, just the the old style Toby and even the newer style Tobys up until this one, it, it made Toby look more like a brake van or a caboose. Like it was just strange. Like Toby is very curvy for a tram. Obviously, there's a big size difference. The wood one is a lot shorter. I mean, the wood one is obviously more detailed. It's got more things going. I like both of them. Like I said, I got both just in case I didn't like one or the other. I'm not saying the prototype's better. I'm not saying the wood is better. I like both of them. I mean, obviously, nothing will ever come close to the old styles, but that technically isn't an old style. It's just a prototype that was commercially released somehow. So anyways, Wood Toby obviously has more color. He even has buffers, except they're not colored. Maybe I'll color them with a marker. The back definitely has paint. The top could have a little more color. It's got the bell here and the mechanism to ring it. It's got a, you know, the smokestack the wood the wooden old style ones had the two magnetic pegs on top and keeping with tradition since the new styles toby's got the bars to get on and off one thing i do like about the wood models is that unlike well this one doesn't have it because it's a prototype like uh, like like here's one from not too long ago the soto main like it was it's just printed on and it's got the skew numbers in case it's a recall Thank you, Trent Thomas Woodrow, for identifying that, explaining that. But here, it, they're actually carved in. They're, they're engraved. They're printed on and, again, have the recall numbers. And it even has magnets to keep it together. It's on the bottom now instead of on top. I just like it because it's very curvy. The only complaint, maybe, is the fact that the buffers aren't black and the, the cow catches stick out a little too much when you look at it on the side. But you know what? It's really nothing to complain about. I like it. I'm impressed with it, and I can tell it's Toby. Obviously, it's gonna have the new style face, so that's expected. And earlier, of course, part one was 
Damn, this is gonna be a long video. I got the Animal Park track uh, push-alongs. I'll talk more in depth of them. The giraffe car, you know, like I said, it's very heavy. It's got the giraffe that hangs out freely in there. He doesn't, there's no way to keep him on. But because it's so high and I don't see him falling out. Any car will have giraffe sticker, uh, giraffe spots and even have the antlers on their, and even have uh, spots on their face. But Annie and Clara will both have the smiling face. Like, Annie doesn't have the old face. Thomas has the goth panda look. He's got bamboo all over him. He's got a, he's got a panda on, I think, each side. Yeah. He has ears. Eye makeup to make him look like a panda. And I still found it weird how they swapped the animal species for the Trackmaster counterparts, where Percy's a panda and Thomas is a monkey. Why isn't it focusing? There it goes. You know, Percy's got chimps all over him. His funnel is brown. Nothing on top. It's nice. I might. I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of them. I just. You know. You know me. I buy things for you know parts. I don't really just. I don't really buy things for the whole thing. Merlin is a very odd engine. Of course, I mentioned that he's a. He's supposed to be a bunny, which is a strange pick for an for a zoo animal. It's more of a farm animal, a rabbit, bunny, whatever. Probably not. I don't know if I'm going to keep him. I would have preferred like something gray, like a hippopotamus. Well, Flynn is an elephant. I already mentioned Flynn. I was thinking of doing like maybe a made-up episode. Like a new made-up episode where James turns into Flynn. Turns into a fire engine. Or Henry turns into Merlin. Using uh, the Bugs Bunny persona. The birdie, like I said, is very cool. It's very fat, though. He's got koalas all over him. So now that could be bulgy. I don't have to use the double tech. I don't have to use the school bus anymore. Or maybe not. This is my third Harold. Well, fourth, technically. I got an Erdl one. He's got wings like a bird. They could have gave him, like, a beak on his mouth. And again, he's got recall numbers. Now, speaking of uh, recalls, Two, two ideas I had in mind for um, the classic Thomas fans and Learning Curve, if you're watching. Wait, Mattel, excuse me, because they don't own them anymore. They don't make toys anymore for Thomas. Um, Mattel, you should really make a throwback series. You should make, like, they should be, they should have, like, two toy lines. They should have a, a throwback series for the old school fans where they have changeable faces because, obviously, the younger brand, the younger brand is, <laughs> the faces are small and they might, kids might choke on them. Then there'll definitely be a recall. But the throwback series, you know, it's grown up, grown grown men. They're not that fat head enough to eat the faces. But they'll probably never happen, and understandably. Um, once again, a Shima with peacock feathers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it might not be a Shima because I've I did see a video of this on and I did see another video of this on YouTube and a Shima isn't as a bigger nose, so maybe it's another engine. Oh no, it's it's Hong Mei. I could have just looked at the bottom the whole time. It's Hong Mei. I think she's Japan or China. I don't know. And, uh, yeah. The only thing left to show you guys uh, is the Napford Station. It's not here yet. And the copycat thing, which I'm going to save as a surprise. But as a bonus, I got more Ertles. You already saw the Thomas and Henry. Got Percy, Reneas, and Duncan. The Duncan is a bit of a disappointment. Percy and Reneas did come in packaging, and here they are. Duncan is a disappointment. Not because he was opened, but, and... I mean, he did have some paint here and there, but I... It was nothing to it. It's just, look. He's got the normal base. Like, it's not, like, metallic. Like, like look at... Look, look, look at Reneas' base. You could see they put a little effort. They gave him some color. Unless it's just me. Maybe I need to look at the real Rene, the regular Reneas to make... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And of course... But he's still cool, though. I, I'm happy. Even though my, my original intention was not to get metallic engines. But because there isn't that many, I'm like, eh, it can't be that hard. But what's, what's keeping me from completing it is James. A couple people... A couple friends on Instagram are helping me try to find track down James... 
and Mercari.com, which is a website I literally learned today, or I think it was today, or yesterday. Two months ago, somebody bought this lot, which came with a bunch of Ertles. It came with three Jameses, and one of which was metallic. And I missed it by two months. Grant, granted, you know, I would have had so many other extras, but it was. I finally found one, and the price was fourteen dollars for like ten Ertles. That's amazing. Fourteen dollars for ten Ertles. Now that's a steal. Well, I'm just gonna have to keep looking, or I'll just do what I did when I had Theodore Tugboat toys. Just take a break and don't worry about other things. And then when it comes around, then you chug it. So, yeah, I'm, fa I'm falling asleep. I'll do more. Uh... Well, I won't. I mean, I'm not going to do an in-depth review of the Spider Mountain Railway because I, even though I briefly talked about it, there's really nothing I didn't cover. It's just, I'm sorry if this sounds like I'm rushing, but I don't know. It's late now and it's going to take a bitch to upload. Maybe not because the first book, for some reason, the videos that I made, I make live on Instagram don't take as long to upload, but because it's being combined with two other videos, this one being already uh, 15 and a half minutes, plus the first, plus the second part was three minutes, plus pictures, it might take a while. It might even take all night to upload. And I got a couple, and I got a movie to finish. So don't count on this being uploaded before the sun comes up. So let me go now, right? And stay tuned for a model railroad update. I'd assume this is 15 parts one and two. So 16 when I uh, get the tent with sheds. And, and I'll get into um, the future of me and push alongs. Like, will I get every classic engine? We'll see. I don't want to say anything right now in case it doesn't happen. Like how I promised I would go to Target and I didn't. Like I promised I would go to Wolf's Pond Park, but I missed my stop on the bus. So let's uh, take it easy. Rome wasn't built in a day. And we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this long-ass video. And good night, everyone.